Hey everybody, I'm back, y'all. So we're gonna do how the Carmen feels about divine feminine. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Kipper deck, and we're gonna get some messages, and we're gonna clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffling. These cards are already ready to talk. How does Karmic feel about the Divine Feminine? She is concerned. She is concerned. She's wanting to know what Divine Masculine think about you. That's her concern. She thinks that it's about the money. She thinks it's about the money. All right, she's concerned that you and masculine have been in contact with each other. Privileged lady and main female here and a mature man. So, yeah, there's two females here. Um, somebody's the privileged lady and somebody is the main female. So, somebody could be like, I feel like this is Carmen who... Um, We got false person and occupation. It's like she's pretending. And we got the lovers. It's like she's pretending. She may, I'm getting also that she mimics you because her concern is what does masculine see in you? She also thinks that you and masculine have been secretly messaging each other. Yes, we got thief and lover. She's afraid that you can come in and uh, we got sudden wealth and courtship. Somebody's paying for sex or, <coughs> excuse me, guys. We got sudden wealth and, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. We got sudden wealth and courtship. So she's over here buying masculine. For this connection she's afraid that you could come in and take masculine away from her so she's over here that's why she's the privileged lady she over here giving masculine all her money for this connection for this relationship wow That's a damn shame. Let's go ahead and pull from the tarot. Okay, we're going to use the... No, we're going to start off with the tarot. How does Karmic feel about the you know, feminine? How does the Karmic feel about divine feminine? And two of cups wanted to jump and it jumped out all sideways what's up with that okay so we're gonna stop it right here all right we got the sun here at the bottom of the deck so okay so she's trying to get some information on you she already knows what you like look like how you carry yourself I feel like her and somebody, like, people that she hang around, they talk about you all the time.
All right, let's see. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, and the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Wands, Star, and the World. All right, give me one second, y'all. So we got Queen of Cups, Star, and the Devil. Could be a Capricorn, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or Aquarius. Could be a Bob. It could be any sign. Pentacles here. Okay. Karmic, it seems like I mean like karmic forest. Cause we got the seven of wands on the page of wands. It seems like She forced masculine to make some type of decision to walk away from you. Yeah, she forced masculine to tell the truth or be uh try to tell some come to you with some type of truth. To get you to walk away from masculine or from masculine to walk away from you. Somebody definitely left the connection because the Eight of Cups is here. The Strength card it could be a Leo. Yeah, for good. Like, I feel like her intentions was to get masculine to leave you for good. All right, so why the Strength card here? Yeah, for the first time. Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Yep. This possibly been the first time that masculine ever acted this way. Yep. She wanted to compete. She wanted to compete with his past. Mm hmm So, the two of cups is here. You and masculine could have been living together. Y'all could have been married. Y'all could have had something long term and was stable into this connection. It's karmic came about. See, so yeah, the two of swords. Yes, she couldn't wait. See, she couldn't wait for this masculine. Could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. She couldn't wait for this masculine to leave you. I feel like masculine walked out and chose this karmic. Are the Queen of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles. The challenge is Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Six of Swords. The challenge is trying to get him to move on from the God family. For good. Judgment. She tried to get masculine to tell the truth um, about what they had going on. So you got this relationship kid in. She wanted to be known that masculine had uh, the party. 
Yes, and that he was being sneaky and he was lying. That he was juggling. This king of pentacles here had, you know, was juggling, living a double life. This masculine was literally did, living a double life. Like, really, for some of y'all, you could have been in a, um, a long-term commitment with this person. Y'all live together or you guys are married. She made masculine, she forced masculine to come to you um, with this truth about him sneaking off and living a double life. Yep, so she could feel like she won. She wanted to feel like she won this argument. She wanted to feel like she won this battle. Wow. We had to go through all of that. Why was the star card here in the past? King of Wands. And the Empress. She could have thought that she was pregnant at one point in time. Yeah, she could have been pregnant. She could have went and got an abortion. Okay, because I'm getting asking for some. Um, she could have asked masculine for some money. Or she said that she was going to keep it. Because it seemed like he was mad about the situation. She wasn't ready to have no baby. He didn't want that to get out. I feel like she could have been pregnant in the past. Yeah, the world and the Ten of Wands. There's a complete ending, like some, yeah. See, she was waiting for waiting for all of this to, to fall apart, for it to be a wrap. She was waiting on it. She was over here trying to change masculine mind. Could be over here trying to change masculine image. Um, to keep up. And then she throwing her rock and hide her hand, trying to make it seem like she didn't have nothing to do with it. She waiting on masculine to completely close that chapter. Um, Cause she's starting to get frustrated. She feels like masculine, masculine still um, is attached to you in some way, shape or form. Maybe you and masculine have kids together. Um, Y'all are possibly still married or separated, possibly getting ready to go through a divorce. Some way, shape or form, masculine is still some way tied to you. She started to get frustrated because she thought by her getting him to come forward with the truth or um, him, you catching them um, together or something in that form, she felt like that was going to end it for good. So she starting to get frustrated. Yeah, because she's feeling stuck. She's starting to feel used. She's starting to feel used. But definitely a breakup. I'd be down. We got the magician in the moon here. And then the breakup right here. Three of swords, knight, three of three, I'm sorry, three of wards. Three of swords, nine of wands, and the chariot. That's a breakup. And then the magician and the moon. There could be magic. She could be doing um, some type of magic. She could have placed some type of spell um, to get masculine to walk away from you. So she could have something for herself. The Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. She don't want masculine to have no other options. So this is what she's been doing. She just don't want him to come back to you. She's been giving him, giving him gifts, giving him money. To keep them happy. Wow. She's going way too far, honey. You doing all that. Why is the tower here? It's a damn shame. 
water tower here, the Ten of Cups, yeah. See, she wanted this connection to fall apart. She's sitting there spying on you. Sitting out, spying on you, throwing a rock hot in her hand, spying on you. She's trying to keep up with you as well. She can't keep up. She couldn't keep up, so she started buying masculine. Buying masculine love. Why is the Ten of Cups here? She, she was hoping that, yeah, Two of Pentacles. So she can keep masculine. But she's going to keep that drama going. Mm. This masculine could be a Capricorn, but the situation is toxic. Like, there's an addiction. She is addicted to masculine. She's trying to give you some time. She, um, she's trying to give you some time to get over the situation. But best believe she is competing. She got a vendetta. She want to make sure that she keep, wants to keep a step ahead of you. Definitely don't like you with this four of cups energy right here. She could be younger. Yeah, she she feel like she done changed masculine. He a change man. Um, at one point, I feel like maybe masculine was keeping her a secret, but he done brought her out to the forefront. She wanted to be seen by everybody. Um... She feel like she gonna make she gonna uh, change masculine. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so she feel like she can change a man. Okay. <laughs> now let's go to the power of love deck here. Let's get some. Let's get some messages from here. Oh, we got a jumper. Kindness wanted to jump out. Friendliness. Empathy. And it's in the reverse. And we got humility. Tolerance. Okay, so tolerance is here, out here in the reverse. Um, as well as patience. I feel like she's losing patience. <laughs> she's losing patience. Um... And she don't have no type of sympathy for nothing that she did neither. She don't care. She don't understand where you're coming from. She will never understand where you're coming from. Um, she's very aware of which the part that she's playing, the role that she's playing. Oh, respect is in the reverse, okay? This is something that she was willing, she is willing to go over and above to uh, satisfy masculine. We got willingness and satisfaction. She's willing to go above and beyond to satisfy masculine, make sure that masculine don't come back to you. She ain't got no respect for you. She does not have any respect for herself. She doesn't have any sympathy. She doesn't care. Um, she just flat out don't care. She um, is losing patience in the situation because she's ending up having to tolerate a lot of stuff that maybe she wouldn't normally tolerate just to keep masculine, um, keep his attention and keep him from trying to come back to you. But she's willing to, she's willing. She's open, willing. Yeah, she's willing to take it that far to make sure that she can keep masculine um, away from you, 
all right so that's the message that i got y'all be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends leave a comment below all right ciao for now